Hey there, this is Glendon. This video is about how to make $1,500 to $2,500 within the next 90 days starting from scratch. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. There's a section there, a list of businesses to help you get started. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to get your free 19 business courses. First link below. Recently, we've had a win. Someone went through the child support course and got his child support case dismissed. Pretty cool stuff. Yes, that's the kind of stuff that can goes down in hustlerskungfu.com. You can learn how to make money. You can learn how to fix your credit and you can learn how to get your child support case dismissed all for free. First link below. Be sure to get on it. Let's have a chat. You want to start a business. You want to start an online business. You're looking to make some money, right? But there's a few problems. You want to make money online, but you're hearing a lot of stuff. You've tried a lot of things. And based upon your own experiences, it's been slow. A few wins here, a few loses here. Typically, it takes two to five years to build a business online. However, I got something a little different for you. You can build a business offline. Wait a minute. Just hold up, hold up, hold up. I know you're here for online stuff. Just hold on a second. You can build a business offline within 90 days and make $1,500 to $2,500 if you are hustling. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but typically with my consulting business and talking to people, the biggest problem that most entrepreneurs have is how can they make money to support themselves while they build their business? Well, here's an answer for you. Create a service-based business while you build your online business. Now, for some people, that seems like I don't want to do that. I want to be like you, Glendon. I want to have a digital, be a digital citizen, have my online business. I'm not trying to work a job or start some hustle. Nothing. I just want to go straight online. Okay, that's going to cost you either a bunch of time or a bunch of money. Do you have that? That's the reality. You're going to spend a bunch of money, bunch of time. And if you don't have either one, you got to work with what you have to work with. And that's the reason I'm talking to you like this. Uh, the last three weeks, I have talked to a few hundred of you. Yes, a few hundred of you. And 90% of you are in that, I want to do some, I don't know what I want to do. And I really have no problem talking to you, but I'm not going to be your girlfriend on the phone to talk about your dreams and ambitions when you ain't doing shit with your life. That's where a lot of people are. That's why I'm you know, being the brother you never had telling you this stuff because you can want until the cows come home. You can want, you can hope, you can wish, and it's just not going to happen, playboy, until you actually start to make it happen. Now, 10% of the people who call me actually have businesses or doing something and they're a little stuck. But essentially everyone has the same problem. I got to put food on the table, but I want to do this business. How do I do both? And that's something I thought about. Number one, going back to 30 days to 2,500, the people who really rocked out had sales experience. And the whole time there it was. So what we're going to do is more on that later. We'll talk about that. Just stay tuned. Let's talk about what you need to do. Number one, you got to pick something. You got to pick something to do. You have to pick something to focus on. Now, I get a lot of people, and this is where I get the pushback. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, until you get the skills to do what you want to do, you got to work with what you have. And that's the reality of it. And you sit in there not wanting to do something, hopefully waste, you'll think you're wasting time. You're really wasting time because time is ticking. That clock is ticking. All right. So that's our little chat. Let's get into the educational aspect of this video. Why do you want to create a local business when you're hearing all this stuff about making money online? Speed. Like I said, toward the end of the video, there's 10, no, I think there's 13 to 15 business models, things you can pick, and maybe you don't want to do one of those, but at least it give you some information to stretch your imagination where you can think of something that you want to do, because this is the thing. This is where we are. Unemployment is much higher than people are telling you. 
way higher. There are certain segments of the population where unemployment's 50%, and that's on both ends of the spectrum. People under 25 and people over 55. That's a lot of people. You need to start a business. Now, this is the plan. This is what I have for you. Number one, to make $1,500 to $2,500 in the next 90 days, you've got to get a service-based business. This is something that if you have legs, hands, a car, you can do grunt work, you can get this business started. That's not the hard part. And this is where many people start to stumble and fall. They go out, they hustle, they get some jobs, they start making some money, then either they're working or they're not working, or they're chasing business or they're, they're doing business, and there's all of these gaps. It's like feast or famine. It's like, hey, we're making money, we're doing this stuff, and the love period. Now, one of the reasons that these lull periods occur is because of a lack of professional sales training. So you pick something that you can get reoccurring revenue. That's the first thing you do. Like I said, I've got a list of stuff toward the end of the video. Then you go out there and you execute. Now, this is the difference between you and other people. Somebody out there right now who's not watching this video is executing. They're building one of these service-based businesses and they're getting money, but they're going to top out because they don't know how to build a system and infrastructure. And that is probably one of the most valuable things you can do for your business. It's incredible what it can do for your business. Now you hear a lot of stuff of everybody wants passive income. I don't do anything. I just sit back and collect the money. Everybody that I'm in a group with, that's doing it. That's a seven figure earner or eight figure earner. They're working their asses off. Every last one of them, every last one of them is working their asses off. They may not be doing a hundred hours a week, but they're putting in a good 40 to 60. They are working this passive income thing. Mm, it happens. I have it. I've had it, but I'm telling you it's very short term and the market can change on you in a heartbeat. So if that's your only source of income and it goes, you in the world of hurt. So let's just let that go for now. Go ahead and get yourself some active weekly income. That's meaning you're making money every week. I don't care if in the beginning it's only a hundred bucks. You can build from that. And then once you get to 1500, 2500, 3000, then you can start pushing your internet business model. But the thing is you got to keep doing your service based business while you're doing your internet business model. Now, I've said this before, I've said this several times, I'm gonna say it again. When I shut down the upscale garage sale due to illness and went into becoming an internet marketer, I wasn't sleeping on the sofa, my car was paid off, I had money in the bank. I was able, I had enough money to live off for of two years while I did this. My situation's atypical and there are many people who's like, that guy looks like me. He did it. I can do it. But you don't know the details. And I keep trying to tell people. I keep laying it out. But many of you are hoping for rainbows that are going to come out of a unicorn's ass and bless you with some magic jelly beans. It's not going to happen. Many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. You're like. Many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. You're like. Many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. You're like. Many of you are trying to fuck with no pussy. You're like, oh, but there's no pussy and you're wondering why you're frustrated. You have got to do something. You got to start building something and get busy and stay busy. Now, the next step is once you go ahead and get your business going up, then you have to scale it and you have to automate as many parts of it as possible. Now, there's someone that's going to come in the comments. It's like, Tell us what kind of business. Once again, there's 13 business models or 14 or 15 at the end of the video. It is up to you to go through them and to do the research. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, I have 19 free business courses for you. You, you got the information, you've got structured courses is once again, it's on you to get busy. Now, this is something else I'm going to talk about, and this is a big problem. Many people want someone else to do the work for them. Uh, you want someone to hold your hand. Now, as a business owner, that's not going to work. You are going to have to be self-governed 
and you're going to have to start to scale your business. You're going to have to start pushing your business. Now, the third component of building a service based business, customer service and back office. Now, these are the two parts where things just really start to go crazy. Like, I'll tell you something. I'll, I'll share something with you since we're like friends and everything. HustlersKungFu.com is free right now for a reason. For me to gain stat data that I would not gain any other way. And I'm getting a lot of it. This is what's happening. People are coming in and they're looking at what the new stuff that I'm doing. They're completely ignoring the older stuff. Now, I just told you, someone went through the salad support course and got his case dismissed. Now, what does that mean? It works. But the information only works if you work. It is 100% free and you still have people looking for shortcuts. I'm not going to hold your dick, dry dick, Danny. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So it's going to be up for you to go and shake it. Part of the problem here is, and I'm an internet guy, so I'm in this community. That there are many of you who actually believe that you can actually go from nothing to a lot of money with little to minimum effort. I'm here right now to slay that myth. It doesn't happen. If it happens, it's atypical and it's not the norm and you need to let it go. And prepare yourself to work. If you do the work, you will be successful. If you keep dilly dallying and waiting around, coming up with these excuses, the next two years are going to pass, the next four years are going to pass, the next six years are going to pass, the next decade is going to pass, and you're going to be in the same place that you are right now. Now, who's going to be mad? Who's going to, who's going to be mad then? Who's going to be mad? So go ahead, watch the video, get to the end, look at that stuff, check it out. And start setting yourself some goals. Because when I did the first 30 days to 2500, there was a dude by the name of Cleaver. And this is advice that I gave two and a half years ago. Cleaver was like, I'm on my friend's sofa. I don't have a car. I don't have money. And I said, you need to start a service business. And I've been trying to steer people to this. But it's like, no, no, no. I want to do the internet thing. But I want to live the dream and chase the dream at the same time. Few people can do it, most can't. So the same advice that I gave Cleaver, and he's around, he's in the group, is you need to start some kind of service-based business so you can start generating some cash. Cleaver, within a matter of three weeks, went from nothing to, I think, $2,200 cash, and he was on foot, on foot. Ended up buying the house that he was staying in with friends. He did this in like six months. That's the power of a service-based business. Uh, there are some people who took the original 30 days to 2,500, and they'll remember that. Same advice I gave two and a half years ago. I'm giving it to you right now, and this is your path out of poverty. This is your path away from this bullshit you're dealing with. Now, let's have another conversation here. You got a job. You're going to have to work double time. You're going to have to keep your job. And then you're going to have to work just as hard, if not as hard on your business until it becomes costly for you to keep your job. And at some point it's going to become costly. And that's the point you quit your job because there are many people who want to just quit right now and they have no infrastructure, nothing set up. So that's it. So that's how you make fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars from scratch in the next 90 days by starting a service-based business and busting your ass. So for those of you who are still here, who are not offended, <laughs> that left the room, uh, we're, like I said, I'm gonna just give you a quick breakdown of some business models that you can use to jog your imagination, to give you some ideas, and watch that section, take notes, and just push yourself to think of something that you can do to get some service business-based income. So with that, let's get down to the examples. Okay, this is the list of service businesses that I curated for you. And the reason I say curated is all of these businesses have a serious component of reoccurring revenue. There are way more service type businesses that you can start, but they don't all have reoccurring revenue. 
So check it out. You could do mobile spa services. Now, with there's a certain legal component to this. So if you're already a massage therapist or in school, this is something that you can do on your own if you learn how to sell and book clients and get them on a monthly service. You can kill it. You could totally kill it. Now, another service business that is tried, tested and true. Car washing, mobile detailing. You have a spot posted up next to another business. This is tried and true. It's been going on forever because if you have someone who is really busy and they have a luxury car and they have the income, it is cheaper for them to have you wash their car once a week, twice a month than for them to spend an hour and a half out there detail, detailing it when they're on their free time. Because what people are buying is they're, they're buying time. They're buying freedom. So if you work 60 hours a week, Last thing you want to do is wash your car on the weekend. Big, big service, big opportunity. I have a friend who owns a car wash. He's been in business many years. He does 1.4 to 1.6 million a year gross revenue. Washing cars. Yes, washing cars. Another thing you can do is referral service. Whenever you, you move or sometimes you will get this pack of coupons in the mail, that's a referral service. There's several different ways to do it. But the thing is, the reoccurring revenue component, you go ahead, you start the referral service, you learn how to sell, you learn how to go out there and make things happen. Then you get reoccurring customers. You, you know, if the customer gets a good result, you sign them up. And then you've got 10 people who are paying you a month. You got 20 people who are paying you a month. You got 30 people paying you a month. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Another tried and true apartment cleaning you go ahead and get yourself a few apartments every month you're working and the thing is to have that reoccurring revenue to get to know the industry to get to know how often apartments have churned that's when people move in and move out once again a very lucrative business if you get into it right and you set it up right next thing is residential cleaning there are people i have friends who've had cleaners for the last 20 years. They do not clean their own house. They may do some light stuff or, but they all, this is for some people a necessity. It is not a add on. It's a necessity. So this is a great service business that you can create reoccurring revenue. Uh, another one came out of there. Copywriting. This is for, you know, people such as myself who have to write a lot of sales copy, who have to write a lot of blog posts. If you are really good with words, there's a ton of business out there for you. So that's another reoccurring revenue model. Event planning. Now, there's so many ways you can do this. You can specialize, you can shotgun, or you can do you can do a, a mixture. You can take this referral service, right? And then bring it with the event planning. So what you would do is go out to 10, 15, 20 businesses and say, look, I'm going to throw an event. I'm going to advertise the event. And then you can come in and talk about your business. There are people doing it on a high level where it's $25,000 to attend one of these events. So definitely that's going to take a great deal of planning and execution and getting out there. But I'm just letting you know, this is another reoccurring revenue service based model. I mean, service business model. Yes, a service business model. And it's just kind of crazy as I sit here and tell you this, because there are people who are doing this every quarter. They're putting together these dinners with 10 people at 20, 15 grand a pop. And they're just introducing high influence people to high influence people and getting paid for it. So just something for you to think about. And another thing, window cleaning, very, very profitable business. If you set it up right, if you put it together and once again, it has that reoccurring revenue component. Sales training. As someone who has gone through professional sales training and who's gone through a great deal of self-education, I cannot tell you how helpful sales training is. 
And part of sales training is marketing. Part of sales training is developing your customer relationship man management protocols. Super, super important. And anyone that gets into a good sales training program will see an immediate increase in revenues. That's how important it is. That's why Dale Carnegie has been around forever because there's always a need because most people do not know how to sell. And lawn care, once again, service-based business, reoccurring revenue. My lawn guy is 200 bucks a month year round. That's the deal. They do the leaves, they do all the stuff and they just come three to four times a month. And that uh, I'm just speaking as a client of one that if you're busy and you know, if you like doing your lawn and cutting your trees and trimming the hedges, if that's a form of therapy and peace for you, I get that. But if you hate that stuff, there's a ton of people out there who hate it, don't want to do it, don't have the time and paying someone is just freeing them up. So that's another thing. Now, this one gets very broad. Hair care service. There, there's a lot of subcomponents here. There's coloring. There are people who just do colorists. There's stylists. Uh, there's folks who just do haircuts. I mean, once again, people have to have their hair done once a month, every six weeks, two weeks, something. So depending upon where you are in that spectrum, because a lot of this stuff, you have to have a license. Some of it you don't. I don't know. I don't know. But before you do anything, make sure that you go ahead and look at your laws and what you have to do to be able to put your hands in someone's head. But once again, once you get your qualifications and your certificates, whatever you need, this is a killer reoccurring business model. I had a friend, he was dating this girl and he, he was just like, man, she always has money, always has money. And I was like, so what's your problem? He's like, man, she has a lot of money. And he's like, he said, I don't understand. It's like, you know, she's a hairstylist, right? And I said, okay, they make good money. He said, no, you don't understand. Then kind of find out. She didn't tell him, but I actually told him. I was like, she owns the salon. He didn't know that. He was blown away by how much money she makes. But, you know, she worked really, really hard. But there's a ton of money in that type of profession. Uh, another service-based business is handyman. Now, in this economy, in the way the world is, a lot of people are not getting married. So you have a lot of people, male and female, who are not handy. And they will pay someone to come hang a picture. And they will pay someone to come do stuff that they could do themselves. But once again, people are buying back their time. So instead of spending a week in painting, they hire you. They go to the Hamptons, come back, the walls are painted. Handyman service, properly positioned, properly set up, can be very, very profitable. And there's so many different things that you can do. Now, is this any stretch of the imagination? All of the service businesses? No. What I did, once again, going back to curation, is I put together businesses that have a reoccurring revenue model. Because a reoccurring revenue model is so important. And if you hold on for a minute in the next segment, I will explain to you exactly why and how you can take advantage of that. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. I'm going to tell you about how to sell big premium sales training. One of the things that happened when I built out 30 days to 2500 dollars per month was some people crushed it but other people yeah they didn't do so well and I was just wondering why I mean it really really messed with me then it hit me like a ton of bricks the people who did well had sales training the people who did not do well had no sales training that was the difference and it's critical so with that in mind I've designed a new program premium sales training what we're going to do together to make you successful is, at first, is a one-on-one -on -one business evaluation. Now, what does that mean? You have a business, and I'm going to tear it apart and tell you everything that's wrong with it and how you can make it better by implementing a sales process. Now, I know it sounds like I'm being somewhat presumptuous to assume that you don't have a sales process, but I've talked to a number of people who don't. It's common. I'm in a Facebook group with people who sell everything from high-end 
airplanes to life insurance. And I went in one mere hours after joining and impacted and put in some stuff that these sales professionals did not know, did not understand. And these people sell every day. Good sales training is the difference between a hundred thousand dollar year and a million dollar year. That's that critical. So another thing that we're going to talk about, which no one else talks about, is how to build out your CRM, which is customer relationship management software. Most people who have a business don't have it. It is critical. It, it will make the difference in your business that will blow your mind. We'll teach you how to develop a sales pitch. Many people don't have one because what I like to what I hear from folks is I hand out my flyer. I hand them my business card. Your flyer and your business card are not going to sell anything unless that person has an immediate need for your product or service at that moment. If that need for your product or service comes up six months later, chances are you will not get that business. You have to learn how to pitch. You have to learn how to qualify. You have to learn how to set it up. And you have to learn how to follow up. All of that goes back to CRM. Brand your business. Simple. Create a sales funnel. That's why you need CRM. Build a web page that converts. There's something that I've been doing with some of my clients that's been working amazingly, and you'll get that. How to market, how to find customers, manage your back office, a community of business owners. Now, this is how it works. It's $250 a month currently. It is group training. Once we you sign up, we'll set a time where I'll do a business evaluation with you and your business. Then from that point on, you're going to get group training. There will be webinars. A lot of things will be recorded, and it's all going to be in a Facebook group, so you can access it at any time, anywhere. If you can get on Facebook, you can get in. That way, if you lose your login, you don't have to worry about keeping up with that stuff. And it'll all be in one central location. Super easy, super convenient, and you can get this information that will change your life, change your business so simply. Weekly sales training will be happening in the group. And what I'm going to do for everyone that signs up, because there's a special code here, and you, you don't get that code unless you watch the end of the video. There's a special code. Everyone that comes in here will get two business evaluations. The normal deal is just one. So we're going to have your main business evaluation, then probably a month later, we're going to have another one. So you'll get that as a sign-up bonus, but you can only get it from this link that's attached to this video. So now where will the link be? You're going to have a little screen that will pop out. That will be your annotation. Or if you don't see the link, there's going to be a little I. Take your finger and go to Miss. It currently is at the top right hand corner. Just press your finger in that space and it'll pop up, pop down, and you can check it out. You'll be added to the Facebook group within 24 hours, except on weekends, maybe longer. Then my assistant will reach out to you, get your name, your number, and we will set up a time to do your one on one business evaluation. And there will be sales training and a lot of stuff that you've never seen anywhere else before in the group. I just posted the breakdown of a $1.2 million lunch, how much money was spent on Facebook ads, the, the whole program that's currently in the group that you can go back, reverse engineer, pull out stuff that you can use for your business, or you could just try to use that whole that platform, that whole uh, sequence. Use that sequence if, it applies, uh, if it's applicable to your business. And there's going to be a lot more of that stuff that's coming. And I shall tell you, you want to get in now because it is currently 250 As I make the group more valuable, and I'm going to talk about value, if I can get some of the people that I want lined up to come in and talk to you, it's going to go up because these are some high-profile people. But as I make it valuable, more useful to you, because currently, the way that it is, if you just came in for a month and learned how to build out your CRM, develop a sales pitch, and create a sales funnel, you would use those skill sets for years. Those skill sets could be worth not $100 to you, not $1,000 to you, but literally over time, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
And there it is. I know that you being smarter than the average bear, you're going to jump all over this. And I will see you in the group.